Hey peeps, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring. And as always, such a pleasure to join you today. We're going to deal with an inequality, solving for x in an inequality, and we've taken this from the 2019 IEB supplementary exam. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite the question out, and it's 3 to the x, x squared minus 3x plus 2, and that is smaller than or equal to 0. Right, so now let's evaluate this. I'm sure you're looking at this, this point over here and thinking, geez, I'm not quite sure how to simplify that or use this. How would I get my critical value there? So let's try and think about 3 to the x. 3 to the x, uh, 3 to the 1 is 3. 3 to the 0 is 1. 3 to the minus 1 is 1 over 3. So I, as you can see, it doesn't matter whether it's a positive, a 0, or a negative number in that exponent. It's always going to be greater than 0. So therefore... We don't have to consider this 3 to the x because it's always going to be positive. It is within here that we're going to get the either the 0 or the negative result. Okay, so we can drop that 3 to the x. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus on this term over there. So I'm going to drop the 3 to the x and I've got x squared. That is not a good looking 3. Let me try and redo that one. 3x plus 2 and we know that is less than or equal to 0. Okay, so let's quickly factorize that. So when we factorize it, what do we get? Well, we know we need to have two signs that are the same, and they're going to be negatives. Why? Because we've got a negative there. And then we've got an x and an x in the front because we have a coefficient of 1 in the front there. And then we've got two numbers that multiply to that and add up to that. That is going to be 2 and 1. So we're going to have a 2 and 1. doesn't matter which bracket they're in. So our critical values in this instance is going to be 2, and 1. What are critical values? Well, they're essentially the numbers that make these brackets 0. Okay, I want you to think about this as a parabola. So this is a parabolic curve. Uh, this is the x-axis. This is a positive parabola. So we've got something that looks like this. And we know that our x-intercepts are going to be 1 and 2. Now they've specifically said to us, where does the curve equal 0 and fall below 0. So we know that it's going to be here as well as at 1 and 2. So very simply, our answer to this specific question is x must fall between 1 and 2 and it includes 1 and 2 because at those points it is 0 and they've told us that this particular curve, they're asking us to find where the x is allow the curve to be zero. And that's it. Thanks so much to our epic sponsors for making this video possible. Read all about them in the description below. Also head over to our website for more of these epic tutorial videos. If you can't find the answer to your question, send us the question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time, stay epic.